Technical progress makes it possible. Thanks to modern equipment like the James Webb Space Telescope, we now look deeper than ever into the gigantic expanses of the cosmos. In view of the overwhelming images of ancient galaxies and dynamic cradles of stars, however, we should not forget one thing. The universe holds many more sensory impressions for us. Have you ever wondered what Saturn's rings sound like? Or what sounds the mighty Jupiter makes? We'll show you. Stay tuned and dive into the sound world of the universe together with us. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and distinctive spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of space from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you'll be motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. The Sound of Space Fans of the science fiction classic Alien know, in space, no one can hear you scream. And indeed, if you've ever wanted to know how the thunderous battles on the big screen would play out in reality, you should mute the TV during Luke Skywalker's next attack on the Death Star. But how is it that the cosmos actually appears mute to the human ear? Well, as we know, sound needs a medium to propagate. However, since the universe is mostly empty, that is, it embodies an almost perfect vacuum, a rocket could explode there, right next to us, or a meteorite could whiz by without producing a perceptible sound. To understand the background of sound propagation, we can imagine sound waves as the waves that occur when we throw a stone into a pond. According to this, the vibrations spread from molecule to molecule in the air, just like water set in motion. After our ears have detected the corresponding vibrations, they are interpreted by our brain as sound. Or in other words, we perceive sounds as they cause the air around us to vibrate. But then, what is today's video about? If in the vacuum of the universe, no noises exist at all. Fortunately, you don't have to tune out at this point, because NASA actually has complex instruments capable of making the sound of the universe audible to human ears. Specifically, these components capture electromagnetic vibrations that exist throughout the cosmos and then convert them into sound. These auditory shoots that the expert's work has already sprouted are as fascinating as they are strange and literally not of this world. Jupiter Big, bigger Jupiter No other member of our planetary system comes close to the enormous dimensions of the gas giant. In theory, our home planet would fit inside Jupiter more than 1,300 times. When we think of this planetary colossus, images of its distinctive stripe pattern, composed of the so-called zones and belts, immediately come to mind. The ominous great red spot also makes the scientific headlines again and again, as this gigantic storm system has been raging on the king of our planetary system for centuries. The fact that we now know more than ever about Jupiter is thanks to space probes like Cassini. In fact, the spacecraft made a stopover at Jupiter on its way to Saturn to get a gravitational boost. In the course of this, the equipment also recorded some sounds that seem quite spooky, not to say eerie. Departure to New Worlds A simple, high-pitched whirring sound that embodies nothing less than an absolute milestone in modern space travel. The sound recording you have just heard is the audio version of a diagram from the Voyager Plasma Wave observation. It originates from the groundbreaking period in which the NASA probe crossed the heliopause of our solar system. To be more precise, that sound covers the period in which the unmanned spacecraft accomplished something that no other man-made object has ever managed before, the advance into interstellar space. Mars Quake Let us now turn to one of our planetary neighbors, Mars. For many, the celestial body covered in iron oxide dust still embodies the prime example of a dead planet. But this is not true. For one thing, we now know that Mars was once characterized by extensive bodies of water 
and pronounced volcanism. And even today, the surface of the red planet is repeatedly hit by tremors, colloquially known as Marsquakes. Even though the true background of this spectacle has still not been fully uncovered, experts assume that their origin lies in pressure discharges from the planet's crust. To get to the bottom of the mysteries of Mars, NASA sent the InSight lander in 2018. Equipped with a seismometer and a heat flux probe, the measurements are intended to help understand early geological processes and the evolution of rocky planets more precisely than ever before. So, to that end, let's listen to the sounds InSight captured for us on April 6, 2019. In detail, this recording is made up of three different sound components, the Martian winds, a minor Mars quake, and the robotic arm of the stationary lander. Flight through Saturn's rings As part of its mission, the Cassini spacecraft faced a not insignificant obstacle. How do you make high-resolution images of a planet's surface when it lies dormant behind a composite of thousands of ring orbits? Well, the answer to this question is as simple as it is effective. You let the spacecraft fly directly through Saturn's rings. What sounds Cassini's technical ears picked up in the meantime, you can hear here. Recorded by the radio and plasma wave science instrument, the intense noise documents the successful advance of the spacecraft. However, since Saturn's rings are teeming with countless boulders, this endeavor was anything but without risk. To make Cassini's passage as risk-free as possible, a gap between the E and F rings was targeted, and the probe also aligned itself so that its antenna acted as a kind of improvised shield. In the same breath, the crossing provided some important insights into the material composition of Saturn's rings. These were not composed mainly of ice, as previously assumed, but consisted largely of dust. Saturn Thunderstorms With their crashing lightning and rumbling thunder, terrestrial thunderstorms are already an impressive spectacle for the ears. But have you ever wondered what the sound of thunderstorms is like on the other representatives of our planetary system? A few years ago, researchers set their sights on Saturn to analyze the power of a violent storm there that raged for several months in the upper layers of the atmosphere. In the process, scientists came to the realization that lightning from the iconic ringed planet makes the phenomena on our Earth seem like a fizzling sparkler. For example, the lightning discharges that whip through Saturn's atmosphere are up to 10,000 times more powerful than those on Earth. In 2006, the Cassini space probe succeeded in recording the static crackling of these lightning bolts, giving us an audible foretaste of the chaotic processes that take place deep beneath Saturn's cloud cover. Europa when it comes to the question of celestial bodies that may harbor life, Jupiter's moon Europa repeatedly becomes the focus of astronomical interest. It is now considered certain that the sixth largest satellite in the solar system conceals a full-grown ocean beneath its frosty hull. Although the conditions in this subglacial sea can undoubtedly be described as extreme, we also know of terrestrial organisms that can survive far from any sunlight. In order to literally get to the bottom of Europa's secrets, a melting probe will one day land on the satellite and dive directly into the extraterrestrial ocean. But before that happens, let's prick up our ears and listen to the plasma fluctuations that the Galileo probe captured during its flyby of Europa. Bow Shock in the context of space exploration, a bow shock refers to the arc-shaped shock front that occurs when a plasma stream encounters an astronomical obstacle. In the course of such a process, the plasma is rapidly decelerated, and at the same time, it is compressed and strongly heated. Bow shocks can have very different backgrounds. These include the interplay of interstellar gas and stellar wind, 
as well as the interaction of the solar wind with the coma as the nebulous envelope of a comet. In addition, bow shocks are also created when the solar wind interacts with the magnetosphere of a planet such as that of Jupiter. The bow shock recording you just heard was recorded by one of the two Voyager spacecraft. And now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the spectacular sound recordings from space? And which sound amazed you the most? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our video in the comments below. Want to learn more about the most unusual discoveries in space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked here in the credits for you. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.